Who's catching passes from Alex Magoo, the league MVP. Martinez should be the league MVP this season. He's looking for Kane. Picked off. Adonis Alexander says, give me that. Was he touched down? No whistle. So play on. Down to the 30, where he's finally brought down by Kevin Austin Jr. And we'll have to sort this out, whether it was down in the end zone or not. But either way, he high-pointed that football like he was the intended target. And before he high-pointed the ball, he got his head back around. So Adonis Alexander, 6'3", 190, out of Virginia Tech, number 36. He was targeted earlier in the game in that second quarter. Well, this time, eyes are high. He should be at the one, shouldn't it? He should be at the one. Yeah. Hey, we've got intercepting momentum here. He completes the catch, gets both feet down in the field of play before falling into the end zone. So we're going to have to move this ball back to the one. After review, the defender caught the ball in his momentum, took him into the end zone. The ball will be placed at the one yard line. First down, Michigan. So no return for Alexander, but the former Virginia Tech Hokie has his first interception. If I knew we were going to throw it out there, I want to call it. I'll throw it out. I'm just asking you to do what I'm asking you to do, and we're playing our own offense right now. I don't know what you're looking at. I don't know what you're seeing. I don't know what you're doing. I need to reel you back in to play in our offense because it works. It's worked for three years. It's worked for 30 years. It works. It's tried. It's tested. Danny Etling, the quarterback in the shotgun, trying to create some breathing room, gives to Matt Colburn, who's dragged back into the end zone. Throw the ball to that hash. Yep. Is that where we're supposed to throw it? No, sir. Throw the damn ball to the hash. I told you, you throw it out there, they're interceptions. I told you, don't find him. Throw it to the hash. Come on now. Amazing to hear that after that partnership has worked so well all season. Etling's pass is complete. There's Marcus Sims. Always shifty, always dangerous. He's got a first down out near the 20 with a gain of 16. And coaching sometimes can be harsh, and that's the, that's the reality of it. Sometimes it's encouraging, but sometimes you have to talk about reality. It, it sounds like this conversation has been had time and time again between quarterback and coach, and it sounds like quarterback is making the wrong decision, Adrian Martinez. And so I go to, okay, if this is a big moment, and maybe it's a little bit early, but how long of a leash is it before you go to Matt Corral, who's been in this conversation of going back and forth and competing for a starting spot? Then he competed at the start of the season. Corral actually opened as the starter. That pass is beautiful. Etling completes it to Devin Gray, who taps the toes for another first down Panthers. Down here with Adonis Alexander on the sideline who made that massive pick and your head coach Mike Nolan in the locker room reminded you guys about what took place last week. How important was it for you guys to get that stop on the opening drive? It was very important because the same scenario happened last week and they ended up scoring. So it was a big, it was a big play for real. But, <coughs> but I got to thank my D-line for real, for real. They getting back there. Were you a high jumper in another life or how you get those ups? Now my dad actually is a high jumper. My dad, my dad got a very good vertical. My mom ran track, so I got nothing but legs. All in the family. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> Appreciate you. True. All right, Stormy, how about that for Adonis Alexander? Great question, great answer. Alexander is first pick of the year. Second takeaway for Michigan. Usually that's what Birmingham does to the opponent. Colburn around the right side. Tried to cut it back, picked up maybe a yard, third down coming. Uh -oh. Illegal snap. Illegal snap, guys. Illegal snap. Kicking team, number 44. Five yard penalty, fourth down. That's a surprise. Jordan Ober is the all UFL long snapper. And they're short by, by 34 inches. I, I like the decision to punt it because your defense, I just wish Meredith would have gotten vertical. So that's one thing you know, when that opportunity comes, get vertical. Trust your defense, you don't want to risk it. Remember early in the game, Birmingham went for a play, a fourth down play at a similar position, didn't get it. That gave Michigan a lead. It's a fake, it's a fake, and it works to perfection. Kendrick Whitehead Jr. pops 
free. A gain of 17. The Panthers are throwing the kitchen sink. So we got to talk to Mike Nolan sooner Chris. or later. And this Chris. is why I was at practice on Wednesday and I was watching practice and there was a moment where he came to me and said, Sam, I need you to face away from the field and just talk to me. And I'm talking to him and he's like, hey, trust me, don't look at what's behind you, just talk to me. This may have been what was behind me. That looks like Kinda Kua who's throwing that ball. Perfect, mind you, he was a quarterback. He was a quarterback in high school. Kinda Kua, quarterback in high school, makes that play, brilliant play. It does a little bit of everything for this Panthers team and now they might give it back. Ball is live and it's loose and the Stallions have it. Falls on it. So after the fake punt fourth down conversion, the Stallions have a takeaway. This is the UFL. <laughs> Talk about a game of focus sequences. on the arm to see if the hand starts forward. Second, any other from the side? Give me a look at. Okay, this ball's rolling off his fingertips before the. This is a fumble and a clear recovery by the defense. Review the one on the field stands. First down, Birmingham. That was Mike Pereira in the U.S. Army Command Center. Dondre Tillman with the pressure, the strip sack, and the takeaway for the Stallions. A little juice back here at Protective Stadium. Birmingham takes over, down six. Andre Tillman, take me through that sack. What was the move? It was a stab club. Um, the tackle tried to give me a quick set, so I just gave him a quick stab club, brought my rib, and the quarterback was right there. How'd you set that up earlier in the game? Just by going with my speed, going speed to power, speed to power, taking the inside move, and just keep on playing. That's it. Marvin, we good now? Oh, yeah, we all good, baby. Appreciate you, I gave, I gave him some love. That's what you wanted, right? That's all we wanted. We wanted D-line. You feel me? Momentum changer. <laughs> Give my momentum changer some love. That's all, all I right. want. We got it. There you go, guys. Defense. Hey, Cole, it's a good point by Marvin Wilson, the former Florida State Seminole. What a play by Tillman. And I love this conversation of how he set the rush up. Speed to power, speed to power. Now the tackle sitting down. Go inside. Now the tackle might see if you're going inside. Then he went stab, club, stab to slow him down. Club his arm and rip through. Wonderful. Poetry in motion. Uh, it's like music to your ears, Sam. Former pass rusher Martinez on the give to Ricky Person. He picks up just one on first down. Let's go back to that play. Well, you talk about that stab club. What does that mean? Some people call it a long arm. So you're going to see him right on the edge. It's going to be a long arm. It's going to sit down the tackle, stab. And then boom, it's not really like a pull. He said club, it really was more of a pull. So as soon as you sit him down, win first contact, you just pull and rip through. And so once you've gotten the tackle a little bit out of sorts, so you went speed to power, you've run around him. Now all of a sudden, when he feels you, he sits oh, down, oh, oh. then you can rip through like you saw from Dondre Tillman. Martinez started nine for 12, just one for six since, including an interception. Here he steps up, balls out again, but they'll rule him down. They're ruining him down, but remember, you can challenge any play. So if taking I'm not a saying look. they do challenge this We are taking a look here. Just give us a little time. You got any shots? Okay. Okay, let's hold off. We're going to review this. Okay, let's take an official review. Okay, let's look at that shot that we have coming that we just had. This shot here. This is the shot here to me. The ball's being stripped out. What's the first thing to hit? The hand. The shin and the butt, but the ball's coming out. Ball is clearly coming out. We've got this shot right here. See the ball ripped out before that shin gets down, before the forearm gets out. So it actually is a fumble. And there is a clear recovery by the defense at the 45 yard line. So the clear recovery by 52. So it is going to be Michigan's ball at the 52-yard line first, I mean, at the 
52's recovery at the 45 yard line. Thank you. Mm -hmm. After review, the ball carrier lost possession of the ball. It was recovered by the defense and immediate continuing action at the 45 yard line. First down, Michigan. So Walter Palmore, the forced fumble, Mika Tafua, the recovery. That's two turnovers in the last three plays of this game. By two big time players. So Walter Palmore first. Look at his eyes on the ball. He's attacking the football, and that's intentional. That's called a turnover, not, a, excuse me, a take away. You're taking the ball away. But he's a monster. He has great hands. A couple weeks ago, he had a PBU in the fourth quarter to help win the game. And then Mika Tafua doing the rest. Former Mizzou Tiger on his second force fumble of the year sets him up at the 45. No gain for McCrary. And we've got we've got the playmaker Walton Palmer here right now. Can you take us through what you saw on that play to be able to jump on it, and make it happen? Hey, in my mind, we just got to make plays out here. Offense got to do their thing. Defense got to do theirs. It's a team effort. So hey, big plays got to be made to win the game. You know so. How would you describe the big plays and the chaos that we've seen here early in the second half? Hey, it's crazy. It's football, man. Anything can happen. So you got to make a play out here, man. Try to gain the advantage. So that's what we got to do. Thank you. You're welcome. Native of Columbus, Georgia, out of breath, trying to chase down Adrian Martinez. They've done a great job of it today. Now their quarterback swarmed, and Etling is sacked. Jonathan Garvin will get credit for it. Jonathan Garvin, 6'4", 257 out of Miami. That move was that speed to power you talk about. So he just ran right through the offensive tackle. Offensive tackle couldn't set. Jonathan Gar Garvin uses his speed right there, top of the screen. There's nowhere for Etling to go. So your job is to get to the quarterback. Sometimes you go around an offensive tackle on the outside or the inside. My favorite, go right through him. Inside hands won right there, Acho. Absolutely. Inside hands usually win 99% of the time. Panthers over their last five on third down. Steep hill to climb here on third and 18. That's their favorite guy to throw to on third down, Trey Quinn, but he will be short. And Drew, Michigan offensive coordinator Marcel Belfay has some Stanley Cup ties. His wife's uncle was the late Pat Burns, former NHL head coach who won a cup with the Devils in 2003. Also coached for the Bruins, Canadians, the Leafs. Told us Burns was an important mentor for him as he was coming up in the CFL coaching. Very fiery, always encouraging him. And you know, I always need picks. I asked him if he's rooting for the Florida Panthers or if he's rooting for country. Oh, take oh look out. Yeah, intercepted. This third quarter just gets crazier and crazier. Ike Brown takes it away. And the former FIU Panther rips it away from the Michigan Panthers. This is the second or third throw that's gotten away from Danny Ellen. What do I mean by that? A th second or third throw that's been high. Well, that's high and that's over the middle. That I mean, it's like, what do people say? Ball caught me. Ball chose me. That ball chose Ike Brown. 6'1", 185 out of FIU. Ball chose him, but then he did the rest. Get that interception. If they give you the ball, go get those yards. Notice all his teammates going to block for him. Those are the hidden yardage in the game. That's hidden yardage in the game that gives you momentum. His first interception of the season. It's their 18th takeaway of the year, which leads the UFL. And look at this. You hinted at this earlier in the game, but Adrian Martinez is out. Matt Corral is in. Former Ole Miss Rebel pumps, throws, completes his first pass to Deion Kane. Matt Corral, former third round pick by the Carolina Panthers, never really panned out. He had a foot injury that cost him his entire rookie season. Then he was waived. One of the best quarterbacks in Ole Miss history. He started this year in a quarterback battle with Adrian Martinez, who won it and then blew up to become the presumptive MVP. And he's full of talent. You talk to anybody around the league, this league or NFL or high school, whatever, he's one of the most talented players you're going to meet. On second and three, that's intercepted. What is happening in this third quarter? Javen White on the takeaway. Does anybody want the football? Ball. Chose me. What do we say in football? We say tips and overthrows. Got to get those. Javen White. Left, guy on the left comes flying down, and the field glance is what, what I'm trying to get on that. Okay. Field glance came rolling down? Yeah, the field okay. safety is the guy coming down. That's the guy who tried to throw it too earlier. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. So we talk about tips.
tips and overthrows. I know. We're going to win it. We're going to win it. We're going to win it. Pressure in his face. A little bit behind. It's tipped. The other one, and Jake White, the other one was an overthrow. So when, sometimes defense, you just have to be in the right position. I know we see this this uh, Matt Coburn with the run, with the, with the two, three yard rush. Just be in the right position. The ball will find you. Javen White, one of the vocal leaders of this defense, just doing his job. Doing his job and he's about to get interviewed by Stormy. I mean, what a performance for Javen White and this Michigan Panthers defense in this third quarter combined four turnovers and four first downs plus a big pump. Oh my goodness! Another takeaway! This could go the distance. Daniel Isom scores! chance to take the lead remember folks no kicking extra points in the UFL you can go for one from the two two from the five three from the ten stallions will just go for one to try to take the lead and Matt Corral is back in there he's thrown two passes one was intercepted Rodgers in motion Corral fakes it to him this is the play they took the lead on last week it's incomplete trying to find the tight end, Jordan Thomas. And that was stopped by Bryce Tornado, the 5'9", 190-pound DB out of Kansas. And he's down on the field. Tornado made the play, ran into a big man in Jordan Thomas. away by his teammates he was the one who had that last interception and now Tornado limps away Russ Tornado was all USFL last year when he played with the Pittsburgh Mahlers limping off Cole yeah. Stallions DB Daniel Isom you jumped that route to get the interception let's go through that first what was the route and how did you know you could grab it uh it was just a little set route uh just watch the film I seen they like to sit it down right there so uh try to give a little man look bounce off and jump the route see if I can make a play for my team I know he needed it all right now balls in your hands what's going through your mind score <laughs> getting the end zone oh my God. that's all I was thinking getting the end zone we need them points good stuff thank you appreciate it Man, let's go back to that pick six. Well, you heard him. He said it was just a little sit route. Well, if you watch film, you know that route's going to come. You're allowed to undercut it, so he does. But it's not just the interception. We talked about it. You have to be able to score on defense. Notice the convoy of stallions that are leading him to the end zone. So once you get the interception, it's not enough, especially when you're an athletic defender. Find the end zone, and the 10 other guys around you need, your, need to help you. And they did. 48-yard house call for Isom. Six combined turnovers in the third quarter alone. <laughs> Think about what you just said. <laughs> if you're gonna giddy up, you better hold on tight to the reins in this game. We got a tie game, 36 total points coming down the stretch of this third quarter. Buckle up. Devin Ross on the return, out to the 40-yard line. David White lost his helmet. Let's listen on Mindfly. 
we got to keep it in control on both sides. I'm going to get my, I'm going to make sure my ball stay, but they're going to get a little chippy too. You know, we got to protect ourselves. Extra. They both doing extra. We got to protect ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's all. I just said we just got to protect ourselves. I'm looking. I'm going to keep the ball on each side. That's all. I'm looking. I don't want to get caught on them. I don't want to get caught on them. I'm looking. That's why I'm trying to break it up right away. I'm breaking it up right away. Yeah. Rondell Carter having a conversation with the officials. Not a typo, folks. Three turnovers apiece in one quarter of football. Got to be a record for maybe any league. Danny Etling on the give. Matt Colburn burrows forward for a few yards. Michigan's third quarter drives. Fumble, punt, interception, interception. Listen, you're playing your ass off. You're playing aggressive, but we must maintain our composure. Got me? We can't afford set the cheap because we can't control ourselves. Pretty clear on that. And I don't care. You got me? Yes, sir. Do the right thing so we can win this damn thing. Got me? All right, make it right. They aren't. Man. Oh, yeah. That's why he's the UFL coach of the year, keeping his guys calm in the midst of chaos. Second and seven, Etling on the keeper, had a bunch of options on that play, but Damon Lloyd on the breakup. He was trying to find Cole Hincatini, the tight end, third and seven. I just feel like in situations like that, you got to keep the simple simple. I mean, he had a receiver to the flat that was wide open, nobody covered. That's a simple pass, so you don't make it too hard on yourself. Take what the defense gives you, live to play another down. Don't put the ball in harm's way. Like Corey Chamberlain, Birmingham's defensive coordinator, having an issue with the walkie-talkie. Can they get the call in? Play clock down to five. Etling from the empty set. Four-man rush from the Stallions. Flushes him to his right. Etling directing traffic. He can run for it. Chased down, and he comes up short. Jonathan Garvin flashing the wheels. Hey, Drew and Sam, wanted to throw this out for you guys real quick. You've talked about the chaos just in this quarter, Drew. Sam, you remember what Coach Holtz told you he liked about his football team the most when you asked him that question in our meeting? Well, we talked about the intangibles, the relationships, but the resolve. There you go. The resolve of this team. And so you talk about things like that, but this is the time to show it. It's one thing to talk about resolve on a Zoom meeting with the people who are calling the game. It's another thing in the heat of the battle when there's been six turnovers. Who's going to be the one in your huddle to calm everyone down? Rodgers lets it skip and into the end zone for a touchback out to the 25-yard line. Birmingham Stallions, a budding spring football dynasty. Back-to-back -back USFL championships, and they are showing that championship medal in a third quarter that's had six combined turnovers. Adonis Alexander had one of them. We saw Paul Moore. We see Dondre Tillman. The ball is everything. And it seems like some players know that truth. Other players don't. Tips and overthrows. Got to get those. Daniel Isom finds the end zone. Javen White gets a pick. Not just one, two, three, four, five, but six turnovers in one quarter. Ball security, eh, neither here nor there. <laughs> And Mindfly loves it. That's a great look from the Mindfly. A couple of our officials wearing that camera on their body. Part of the great access in the United Football League. It's still Matt Corral for the Stallions, and that's on the money. Jordan Thomas is big tight end, who had a 50-yard touchdown catch from Adrian Martinez earlier in the game. Moves the chains, and that should take us to the end of the third quarter. Cole, I go back in situations like this to who are my most trusted players. And for this Birmingham Stallions offense, it's the, it's the tight ends. It's Jay Sternberger, it's Marcus Baugh, it's Jordan Thomas. Those are the guys who have been making your plays. So there's been a quarterback switch. Matt Corral, go to those guys who you trust.